Hey, Stampers, Diane Dimitri here with DeeDeeStamps.com, and I hope that everybody can hear me out there. Um, I do know that there's a bunch of people on YouTube because I saw you chatting in the box, so I know that you're there, but I actually am running really late today. Um, as you know, my son's getting married on Saturday, and I've been... Oh, good. David can hear me in Indiana, loud and clear on YouTube. Yay! If you can hear me on Facebook, let me know, or on my website. Go down on, on my website and just make a little comment that you're here. Um... Uh, anyway, so I have been a little crazy trying to get ready, and then tonight my husband came home, and my car had to be fixed, and he said, oh, come on, we need to go get your car, ah, which is fine, because I need it tomorrow to pick up my daughter at the airport, but anyway, we're we're totally in wedding mode. I'm going to probably punt tonight. I've got some things to show you. I've got some products to talk about, and of course, the holiday catalog is... Um, uh, is available now and that is very it's a very exciting time at Stampin' Up! when that happens but it's kind of hard for me to get in the groove for Halloween oh good they can hear me on Facebook perfect Halloween Thanksgiving Christmas when we have such beautiful weather here my goodness I knock on wood because it's not always that way this time of year um, we actually had did have a couple in mornings that we woke up it was cold enough to snow and actually, it did snow a little bit at the top of the pass. But right now, the forecast for the weekend is supposed to be in the 70s and uh, maybe some clouds and maybe even a little bit of rain. But it sounds like it's going to be fabulous. So we're just going to go with that and hope that it is because it's an outdoor wedding. But that's what happens when you plan an outdoor wedding in September in Red Lodge. So if I miss your question or you ask a question over and I, and I just didn't catch it, just ask again. I will try to catch up with everybody um, and try to get every question answered. Uh, yeah, Diana says she got a holiday catalog. She's still pouring over it and seeing more and more each time. It is amazing, and you will be shocked at how much you will find as you're going through your catalogs because there's so much in there. Um, and if you if you haven't gotten one yet, you should have by now. I did send out a whole bunch today for people that over the last – 24, 48, three, four days have asked me about it. I've sent them out. They all went out today and I actually ran out. So I need to order some more and I'm hoping that we have enough. Sorry, I'm still trying to check on Facebook, make sure we're still working. It looks like uh, things are working. Cool. Okay. Anyway, we. I'm just hoping that I get everybody their catalog and, as of today, you can actually see it online. Um, and it's on my website. Go ahead and check it out, or you can check it out in the store. Um, yeah, I actually came close. Karen said, glad you could join. I could join you. I'm glad you're here, too. I came very, very, very close tonight to not being able to do this. Um, but I'm here, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to switch cameras because I want to talk about the holiday catalog because that's what we're all here about. And at, like I said, if you have questions, please ask. Sorry about the barking dog. She, I'll shut that door, but now she'll probably drive me crazy wanting to come in. Okay, so here's the catalog. This is the cover. Hopefully, let me get this cord out of the way. Hopefully you have one in your hot little hands. Um, if you don't, let me know and I will get one sent out to you. Um, Anyway, unless you have another demonstrator, then just go ahead and contact your other demonstrator and, and let them send them to you. Okay, so actually, it's a beautiful catalog. I love it. You can see I've used it quite often. It's pretty tattered and torn um, because I look through a lot. But it's amazing what's in here and stuff that you may not have noticed. So there's a lot to see. But I'm going to go to the back because I like to look at my catalog backwards. And the other thing was is I really wasn't ready to – Totally go Christmas, and the whole front of the catalog is Christmas. So let's go to the back. And, of course, this is all Christmas, but that set. I love this new tree set. And I absolutely adore these two hosts of sets. So I will tell you that whoever wins the door prize drawing tonight will get one of these sets, whatever your choice is. I ordered them today, so it might take a while, but you will get them. I think these little stockings and those little wooden shoes are adorable. I love that set. And this one I just actually started looking at today because I hadn't looked at it much before. But it's a great stamp set. This is like this boo, if you see here in this little box. You have the boo and then you have the shadow, which works up, lines up great with the stamper, stamperatus. 
I have a few things out here I'm going to show you. Some of my favorite stuff, but just realize I want you guys to think about it because everybody is so gung ho for this catalog. And if you have never been a demonstrator before, or you want to be a demonstrator and you haven't been before, you, now is a great time because you can get $125 worth of products, and it could be anything in this catalog or the other catalog for $99 plus free shipping. So that's another $12.50 savings. And then you get a discount on everything. And this is a fabulous time. To start up a new business, just because Christmas is here, the holidays are all here, people are going home to learn how to make stuff, and there's lots in here. Now, I'm not huge into stamping for Halloween. I do some things. I make a few things, but I don't like, sometimes I do my treats. It really just depends on my time schedule, but I did make up a couple of cards. I love this card using our new Halloween paper, and actually, I didn't even use a stamp. I just cut out images from the paper. So the whole card is done with just images of paper. So I use the background paper, but it's all the same paper pack. Um, so this is the Toil and Trouble. I love this. Oh, and this ribbon. This is pretty ribbon. So this, I hope you guys can see that. It's a black organdy ribbon with glitter in it. And not only does it look great on Halloween cards, but uh, Stampin' Up! did some stuff with Christmas with it. And it was absolutely stunning. So you're not... You know, don't just think of the ribbon as um, a Halloween thing. It can also go for Christmas. Okay. So if you're into Halloween, there's some great things. I, like I said, I love this paper. I think it's adorable. All of the paper is... Here, I actually have it here. I'll, show you, I'll give you a little tip. Okay, so this is my Halloween paper. And you can see once I open up a pack of paper, I always keep it all in together. And I also keep the cardboard piece because the cardboard piece tells me what colors coordinate with it. But you can see what I do is I stick them in a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. So it's just a clear page. I tuck all my scraps in there and everything. And so all of my paper is together. See, I even have extra cutouts here, things I cut out um, to make stuff with. But this is just a great way to store your 12 by 12 papers into a scrapbook. Actually, you could do it for 8 half by 11, too, because there's scrapbook pages that size. But these 12 by 12 papers fit nicely in these um, scrapbook pages, and then they're all together. And like I said, I still have the, the cardboard piece that tells me the colors and also exactly what the designer series paper is that I'm using. So there's a tip. Yeah. See, I told you she'd start knocking at the door. Okay. I'm going to go through and just talk about some of my favorites. And this set here caught my eye immediately because it can be used for all kinds of occasions this time of year. And I just have to show you a couple little cards I made. Now with these, I just used designer series paper. And I cut the, these are off actually um, four by four little squares of cardstock. So it's actually eight by four. And I just cut them this size because I wanted something a little bit different. You could do them regular card size, but I liked the, I just like the four by four size. And the nice thing about this is that it fits in a regular size envelope. But if you have the envelope, you can make it own. let me get that door. Or we're going to listen to scratching all night. Um, and I used here the stitched, you can see the stitch frames and then the scallop. Um, just to, I just cut out a bunch of stuff and then started coloring them. And I used my blend. So... Of course, I got a great blend in there, and these were just kind of fun to make real basic cards. I didn't just stamp ink and paper and then cut out um, scallop behind there. Same thing with this one, only this time I used a circle. I just love it, and then I used a little gray to make a shadow, so it's not just standing in. And then the pumpkins. And then on this one, I thought I had another one here, too. Must be. Must have got story away. Anyway, on this one, I just added some of our new linen. It's kind of a, you see it's braided linen thread. It's really pretty. You can, you can unravel it. You can open it up a little bit more and just make it as tattered as you want or as clean as you want. But I love that little sunflower stamp. So this was actually one of my, when I first saw the catalog, this was one of my absolute favorites. And I don't know what it is about it. It's the style of the stamps. It's the coloring. It's just the images. And... I'll be honest, this is like my favorite time of year. Fall is here, and we're lucky because the weather's been gorgeous, knock on wood. Um, so I think we're going to have a, a nice long fall. And by that I mean if we are in September and we still have fall, we're doing good. Uh, this one up here was another one, Falling for Leaves. 
I just love the this style and we had one a couple years ago that just looks similar to this um but this is kind of fun and then these are the thinlet dice oh somebody asked me somebody sent me an email and asked me what's the difference between thinlets and framelits and so I pulled some stuff out so I could show you so framelits this is a framelit set this is the frosted bouquet set and what you see by this this is how I figure out the differences of framelits or thinlets so framelits are a frame so they frame an image or when you're cutting them out. So it's a frame around an image. And if it's a thinlet, I don't know if I picked a good one to show, but we'll show it because this is another one of my favorites. So this blizzard die, not that people want to talk about blizzards, but you can see this one is a thinlet because it cuts out thin pieces. It doesn't frame around anything. It just cuts out. This was like... I don't know. There was something about these two things in that catalog that I loved. But anyway, there's your difference between thinlets and framelits. Okay, so here's the first frost is the stamp set that goes with this framelit set. So you can see how this framelit goes over this image and we'll cut that out. Does that make sense? So framelits cut out an image for the most part. Thinlets are thin and don't cut out an image. One of the other differences between the thinlets is that I like to use the steel plate with the thinlets because I think they cut better, cuts out better. So I hope that answers your question. And if not, ask it again and I will figure out an answer. Okay, a couple of things I want to point out. And I'll, I'll, I'll point it out later, I won't forget. This, this <laughs> here is, was my favorite too. Now this is like totally me. I love this paper and I actually pulled it out and you'll see, I haven't put this one yet in a uh, uh, album page because I was just using it the other day and I just haven't gotten around to doing it. But this paper, Blackberry Bliss is our wedding color. So that makes a difference because that's what we're using. And then you can just see they're just beautiful. I love that Blackberry Bliss. Um, and I'm going to do up some scrapbook pages, I think, with these. And I will share them with you probably at my next live thing which will be sometime in September. Give me a couple, maybe in two weeks. Um, I've seen people use this and put cotton swabs, you know, pull off cotton swabs and attach it to the cotton and give a little texture to your backgrounds. That's beautiful. And you can also do that with the stamp set. Love this paper. Oh, I just, the Blackberry Bliss. You'd think by now that we would start getting tired of it, but I'm not. So, which is a good thing with the wedding just here. Okay, so that's my favorite paper. One of the things I loved in this whole catalog were the papers and the embossing folders. And this was the embossing folder that I absolutely could not live without. It's the tin, sorry, the tin tile. And these are just a couple of sheets that I've done. Now I live in a town where a lot of our downtown businesses, old or old buildings, they have tin tiles in them and this is just, I love it. I love the tin tiles and it's fun to see this coming back um, because a lot of our businesses have that. But this is my favorite embossing folder of all time. So that means it's a, it's a really big favorite. <laughs> um, oh, I have a card here done with this. Okay, so here's a card that I did. And you can see I used one of those chicken wire, the chicken wire elements. And I'm gonna show you. Oh, somebody's taken off in their motorcycle or mowing their lawn. Okay, so these are the chicken wire elements and they're very thin. As you can see, it's just paper and they punch out and then you can use, like this one I cut parts of it and used it. Um, on some of these cards here, they just use a couple on the edges just for trim, but they're really cool. Um, they don't add a lot of bulk but they just add a little texture and you get 10, actually you get six sheets of these. And they'll last you a long time because like I used, you know, a sheet and did it in the back behind there, but I actually could have cut them thinner and just done the edges. But it just adds a little to the, to the card. So there's that. And then I also use that linen thread. Okay. Over there. So favorite sweet. Now, 
I'm going to remind you that this is my favorite sweet today. That can change at any moment because as we move through the holidays, um, my likes will change. Just some really fun, different, there's some different images, some line images. I kind of like that. I like that variety of stuff we have. Okay, so this, again, like I said, this was my, this was my favorite, one of my favorite winter sets because of the, the blizzard thinlet. And then, I don't know, there's just something about this stamp set because <laughs> probably because I could use it nine months out of the year here and it would fit in. Um, another one that I absolutely loved, and I'm going to do a little demonstration with this one is the buffalo check. Now, the buffalo check, I haven't even used it yet. I bought it in clear. As I buy most of my big background stamps in clear now, because if I'm going to use this, there's several ways that I would use it. And I don't necessarily need to have it on a big wood block. So I can either lay it flat on a hard surface, or my preferred way now is with the stamparatus. Because if I don't touch the inking right away, I can redo it. So I'm just going to lay this on here. Oh, I don't need this. And I don't need this. Okay, so Stamparatus. I'm using a clear stamp, so I don't need the foam pad. Um, oh, try. I'm going to pick up my stamp. And then I'm going to grab some cardstock, and I'm just going to stick this in here. I don't even think I want a magnet on it. Oh, wait, what if it moves? Mm -hmm. we got to make a decision here. Okay, I'm going up to the corner with it. Change of plans. I'm taking this one up to the corner. Now, when I use my Stamparatus with, up in the corner like that with any stamps, I'm going to add just a little bit. This is just a craft mat that's just going to add a little bit of cushion to that and hope that I can... Get this part inked up. Now to begin with, I'm going to come in with Versamark. And I'm just using a piece of Bermuda, Blue, Bermuda Bay. And I just want to show you the two the, the different looks you can get. And you can use any ink with any paper. But I like the Versamark just because it gives a nice subtle look. I'm going to pull this over. Stamp it down. And I'm pushing fairly hard all over this stamp because I want to make sure that we get the corners and we get all the sides and it looks pretty darn good. I don't know if you can see that. But with the Versa mark, you get a real subtle look. Actually, it, I inked it up and it inked up pretty well. Um, I don't know if you can see that in the, yeah, I guess you can. Anyway, it inked up pretty well, but the nice thing about the Versa mark or the Stamparatus is you can put the cardstock back up in the corner and give it another good inking. And this is still wet. So I could even stamp this with the sticky ink. So Versamark pad gives you a watermark look with your cardstock. So it got a little bit darker. It's also still wet so that I could sprinkle this with embossing powder and emboss it with clear. And I get that plaid look. But I just think that looks really cool. And I love this Stamparatus because it works so well with that. Now let me grab, not that I have to clean the stamp, but I'm going to use a different, I'm going to use a black ink pad now. So I'm just going to clean this off, come in with another piece of Bermuda Bay, I'm going to close up my Versamark. This time I'm going to come in with a Memento ink, and I'm using Memento because I wanted to do it with black. But you know, you could even do Bermuda Bay and Bermuda Bay and you would get a different look. So it would be it would be darker than that look. But I'm gonna go ahead with a memento, and I'm gonna ink up this whole stamp. And you'll see when I'm inking this up, I'm kind of giving it just a bit of a twist to, this, to the ink pad. Because I wanna make sure that I lose my lines and get a lot of ink on there. And then when I come down, Stamp this down, making sure that I press on my corners, pull it up. You can see it's pretty light, but you can see the difference in the dark. And then if you want to make it darker, you just add more ink. And because we're using the Stamparatus and we go up in that corner, we can 
add as much ink as you want to. I mean, I could keep layering and layering and layering until I get this fully covered and as black as I want it. Ta-da! Anyway, just two different looks with that Buffalo Check ink pad. And like I said, if I had used Bermuda Bay ink on Bermuda Bay cardstock, it would even have a different look to it. Um, let me clean up this mess. Now I used Memento Black because I wanted it to clean up easy. Um, but I could have used Stays on Black, and actually my Stays on Black is probably a, a better inked ink pad, and I would have gotten it even darker. But I didn't want to make a mess with Stays on. Now the thing is, is if you're using Stays on and it gets on, your, excuse me, it gets on your Stamparatus or your craft mat or your, one of your plates or whatever, you can uh, clean it off with just a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Like I use rubbing alcohol on a cotton ball that I got from the drugstore. Super easy. Don't make things complicated. Now we'll clean up the Stays on. But I didn't really want to mess with that while I was lying. So there's the buffalo check. And I love it, this green background on that green paper. What you're going to find now when you see this buffalo check is now you're going to see it all over the stores. People are going to buffalo check. Shimmer paint. I will be doing a workshop just on shimmer paint because it adds a lot to your cards. And you, there's a lot you can do with it. Okay, so let me pull this cardstock out. Another 12 by 12. This one is called Frosted Floral. And I think you can see how shiny it is. It has a frosted look to it. Um, and again, Blackberry Bliss. We love that color. Um, just beautiful. The colors. It's just, this is just gorgeous. I just The shimmer and the shine on this cardstock is fabulous. I actually used this cardstock, uh, or used this paper, these colors. So I used these three because the wedding colors are black, gray, bliss, and gray. And I made a banner for the kids to hold for a thank you banner. So that's going to be cute when they, when they get that done and we finish that up this week. So I love Frosted Floral. This is another one I think is going, could be a sleeper because people don't see it. Now, I did want to talk about this one a little bit because um, I want to tell you about this You Can Make It. You will see this You Can Make It throughout the catalogs. Um, and this catalog. And what it is, is it's a list of supplies used to make the card shown. So whatever shows up up here, this is the list of stuff that you will need to make those cards. But here's the kicker. Let's say you want to make these cards. You can just pick this number up here, the wishing you well cards, that you can make it wishing you well cards. Use that one number and all of that's going to be included in that order. So they just made it like a bundle and one one number to order with this is a fun one this is one of those distinctive sets um, with the realistic looking and i i just got it ordered but i can't wait to get my hands on this little bow and these I, it's cute and it's like i said it's one of those that doesn't really stand out very well the kits are great kits are fun these this tag kit i just uh saw a couple items done the other day with it it's they're cute they're very cute like i said i'm not going to show everything Again, we have this, this paper here, this Joyce Noel, has a uh, copper going through it. It's really pretty. Oh, and this one, this tree, I love this one. This one, actually, this, the birch trees, this stamp, uh, this is a set that's a classic. This classic is um, lovely as a tree, but I think this one is even classier. I think they'll go well together, but I can't wait to start playing with. Um, especially this one. And then this little framelit that comes with it, um, you know, has a, has a die that cuts like branches out that you lift up. So lots of fun stuff in here. It's overwhelming. Um, this is interesting. This one here, I haven't played with it, but it's the Christmas tags where it has one die that cuts out all those tags at one time. So you can stamp them and cut them out all at the same time. And then here you'll see where they layered the, the various stamps and images to stuff. This one I see totally colored with blends, great blending techniques or watercoloring too. That is beautiful with that uh, no line watercolor, which I, I need to play with that a little bit more. Okay, this paper here, I did not think I was gonna like any of this. <laughs> These little 
um, Christmas elves with Santa's workshop, but then I got the paper. Okay, so these projects are cute, but this paper is so cute and it's flocked. So like you can feel the belt, the felt. There's snowflakes on here that are, that are, on this one it's flocked along this stitching and it's flocked like along the post and his hat, her apron, little snowflakes. I think it's adorable. And I think the back, I mean, look at how cute that is. This would, this is going to make cute scrapbook pages too. Um, this one has flocked snowflakes around the snowman and then some trees. Something about this paper, I love both sides. I love these little tiny images of these little um, elves across. And I think those would be, those are going to be cute on a card. Really cute. Plus this is cute. I know. I just, I love it. This one. Oh, this is cute too. These little, I love this little tree with these, the elves climbing it. So lots of really fun stuff here. Um, and then this one here, this Christmas candy cane is what I would call it, is flocked. You can hear it, but the white is flocked. And then we have the bows on the back. Oh, and we have one more with all the Santas and they're flocked too. So his hat is flocked on this one. You can feel it. The presents are flocked on this one, but I, it's really cute. And it happened to be my new, my, my soon to be daughter-in-law's favorite thing in the catalog, which at the time I was like, really? but it's grown on me and it's cute. And these memory cards are cute. So you could do a really cute, fast Christmas cards with the envelopes that go with it. So this is envelopes that coordinate with our memories and more cards. We have them in the other catalog, in the big catalog. I think we have them in white and vanilla. And now we have them in red with red envelopes. So you could make really quick, easy, fast Christmas cards. Again, you can make it where you get all of this stuff to make the cards for with one item number. And then you just copy these cute stuff. I was amazed at the variety of stuff that was in here because there is really truly something for everybody. In fact, there's new blend colors. So check those out because there's a whole bunch of new blends um, and colors. This paper, this farmhouse paper is adorable. This little tin, I haven't got one yet, but it fits full size cards, cute stuff. Uh, here's another embossing folder. This one is corrugated. So it looks like corrugated paper. Um, so that'll be kind of fun to have. Oh. oh, and this one, of course, I had to have because this is Soul Red Lodge where I live. And I love the, I love everything about it the snowshoeing and the sledding and the skiing. But then when you get the, Thinlets, it has the sled in it. Let me grab it so I can show you. So this is the stamp set, and then these are the thinlets. Literally just opening them, opening them up. But you can see here's the sled. And so the frame, the, the thinlets you could use without the stamp set. I mean, you would still have some great images, but with the stamp set, you have lots of fun stuff you can do. Here's a cute sled card down here. So yeah, I had to have this one. This was totally Red Lodge. There was no getting around that. And then the deer. And these are, these are other things that are in here. There's a punch with the light, with the bulbs, some realistic, realistic looking designer series paper. And then these are thinlets, which are words, Merry, Holiday, Happy, and Christmas. And I have been seeing lots of things done with that stuff, um, with the, the thinlet words. Uh oh, did we lock up? Maybe I left you there. Okay, so now if you, if you said something while I was talking, and it's buried in the comment section, you should... Say it again if you have a question or something because there we go. I have a lighting issue too in my room tonight. I really wasn't sure. We had to shut the lights down. So um, I don't want to miss a question. Yeah, right? Jane, she's in the mood for Christmas. I will be in the mood for Christmas shortly after the wedding. Um, I will go. Hi, Nancy. Glad you made it tonight. I will go into Christmas. Yep, lots of favorites. 
people love the Buffalo check. This catalog, I'm not kidding. I think it was probably in my top two, maybe three catalogs of my Stampin' Up! career, which is over 20 years. Carol Finkel has two questions. Are you going to on stage? And did you get my email about card inventory? Oh, we had tin tiles in my bedroom and kitchen years ago. Okay, Karen, so I, I can answer your questions because I did get your email and I forgot about it. Sorry about that. I am going to on stage. On stage is in November in Orlando and it's Stampin' Up's 30th birthday and I wouldn't miss it. And it's going to be a blast. And she also asked in her email about how I do my card inventory and I don't do anything. Um, a lot of people will take pictures and then write down who they sent those cards to. I don't. I have a box, a couple of boxes, right? There. And those are two of the boxes that I have that have cards in them. Sometimes I try to keep them separate, so I have thank yous and birthdays and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I don't keep any inventory. And I send a lot of cards. I just want people to get cards because we make them. Don't hang on to them. People have boxes and boxes of cards. So... I try to send them and make them as fast as I can. I hope that makes sense. Lately, I feel like I haven't sent enough, but I'm just, I try to send them to everybody. Uh, oh, that's funny. Somebody's dogs are barking at my dogs. Yeah, there's Bobby says I need more money. There's a lot of nice things. There really are a lot of nice things. And I will tell you that uh, when I first signed up with Stampin' Up 20 years ago, I wasn't going to buy anything. I hated home parties. I didn't want to do any of that kind of stuff, but I did craft and I did scrapbook. And um, I decided I was going to sign up for six months and get everything I wanted and then be done. And uh, yeah, well, I still haven't got everything I wanted 20 some years later. No, I'm just kidding. I just still love it. I love it as a hobby. It's a lot of fun. Signing up to be a demonstrator, you get a discount, but you can also build a business. And I've met people from all over the country and the world that are part of Stampin' Up! And that has meant so much to me. I have really good friends now. Like when I'm going down stage, I'm meeting up with a bunch of other women to hang out together and do a lot of laughing because that's what we do. And we look forward to that. We look forward to that part of, of the on, on stage is the, the laughing. In fact, uh, Karen Finkel's going to meet me there in Orlando, and I certainly um, – yeah, we all get confused. But you know what? If somebody got the same card twice, could they really be upset about that? If they do, then their life is pretty easy, and I don't know. So good luck, Karen. I – Hope to, I hope to, that we do meet when we're in Orlando together. That would be awesome. Well, Anne is here from Lockwood, which is just about 60 miles down the road. Welcome. Okay. I don't see any question questions. If I miss them, I miss them. I, I'll keep searching. I don't. I, I, I get a little nervous because sometimes I think I'm going to um, disconnect. If I hit the wrong button, it can easily disconnect everything. There we go. Okay, I'm going back to my table there. I got some more things to show. Uh, okay, so when you're short on time, here, I pulled this set out because I want you guys to see it because this is one of my favorites. So what I did is I cut a bunch of images and colored them. <laughs> um, but just sitting down one night, I just stamped a whole bunch of images and then proceeded to color them. And I popped them all in this box and I made a few cards, but it's, it's just a nice way. I love to color and it's easier for me to grab a stamp set, whisper white cardstock in my blends and go and that's how I can de-stress. But look how cute that is. I love the blends because they're easy to use. Okay, a couple of cards. So this is from the other catalog. And this is Rooted in Nature with that paper that's Rooted in Nature. So I used the stamp set and I used the papers. You can see I doubled them up, made little tags, and I did some embossing. I stamped the tree. 
and then I embossed on the top of it in white, and then I actually sponged around the edges of this tree because it had a little white edge around it where I cut, and I liked it sponged because it kind of faded it out and doesn't look like, so somebody can look at it and go, oh, she didn't do a very good job cutting. But if I sponge it, they don't really, it doesn't, it kind of fades away, you don't notice. I did add a little element and then some of our new um, baker's twine on there. So I made a whole bunch of these for a swap and then proceeded to forget to bring them with me on the Alaskan trip. So I have several of, I have some of these, I have like 20 of them. And August, thank you. Some people will be getting these cards in the mail for their thank you for August. And then the other night, I just needed something to do to kind of de-stress. And so I had to make some birthday cards and some sympathy cards. I seem to be making way too many of those lately. We've had a lot of, oh, we've had a lot of people, young people, not so young people. It's been very kind of tragic around here. That's one of the hard parts about living in a small town is you know so many people. So when something happens, it affects everybody. But um, it usually pulls us closer and we get through it. But the last, the last one was a young boy and that was a tough one. Okay, so anyway, I was making some birthday cards. I needed birthday cards. And like I said, I don't take pictures and I don't do any inventory or anything. So I just sat down with the Impressions Designer Series paper, the stamp set. Actually, I think I used a different stamp set, but... Oh, I did. I used the Enjoy... Let me grab it. Because this is one of my stamp sets. I love every font in here. Oh, but that's not what I used. I used this on some of them. <laughs> Sorry. I love the fonts in that. Maybe I use impressions. I don't know. Anyway, a punch and some ribbon. So this is ribbon that goes with the cardstock, the shaded spruce, but this has a little glitter to it. It has a little glitter to it. Just made a little bow, punched it, stamped it. And then on the inside, I just stamped happy birthday. I did a whole bunch of them. And then I, I'll have envelopes that are stamped to match and they'll be in my box ready to go. And I know that I put this on the front of it as a birthday card and I did some snippet cards, not with the bright colors. I use some more muted colors for those. So that's how I keep my cards. I have to show you quickly. My sister's a stamper and she left her cards here. So I'm going to share them with you because she makes cards. She's, um, she likes to make cards and she sells them actually down in our little town at the market and they're adorable. So she made this with all punches and my other sister's a Care Bear fan. So I think that's really cute. All done with punches. She made this one and uh, did some watercoloring with the cowboy boots because we live in a Western town. This is adorable. A moose. So we have a moose that lives in, we have actually a couple, but we do have a moose and a calf living around town. And so she makes all of her cards that pertain to our area, but isn't that cute done with punches, the owl punch? She's very talented. I hope she's watching. And then she made this because, um, I don't know, a lot of people like wine. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to come back on because I am going to be done soon. So I want you to ask your questions while you can. A couple of things I got going on. Let me pull up. Let me pull up some things because I actually forgot to do. Let me pull up my slides. I'm going to quick zip through them because I didn't show you at the beginning where you, where you can change the speeds, but most of you have probably been with me for a while now and you probably know. Questions? What will virtual club? If you guys want to know about virtual club, say something in the comments. Otherwise, I'm going to skip this part because you can read all about it on my website at www.ddstamps.com and you can always email me and ask me. Okay. Holiday catalog premiere. This is this tonight was the big unveiling. Uh, September's tutorial uses that wishing you well with a bow stamp. This is really pretty. It's and it uses that frosted paper. Um, and just so you all aware, anybody that places an order with me in the month of September gets the tutorial for free. I send it to you in an email. If your order is over $40 by the second week of October, so it's the following month, I send out a packet with um, product for you to make the projects that were in the tutorial. So hope that makes sense. So if you order in September, you'll get this tutorial. If you order over 40, you'll get the 
pack it for to make the products, the projects. Um, in the in that, I sound like I'm. I don't know. Like maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but I hope you understand that. Uh, this is the stamp set. Wishing you well. I just had to show that. This is the cards that I showed you in the catalog with what you can make with it. So this is the Wishing You Well card supply. This is a great one, this stamp set. I'm gonna bring it up because I think you can actually see it better here. I love this little font. I just think it's so pretty. And these distinctive stamps are just really, to me, a lot of fun. Um, I like how they look. Anyway, so if you wanted to make those three cards, you could order it by just using this number and you'll get all the products. I hope that makes sense. If you're watching, so Lynn asked how she can sign up for the door prize. Lynn, I don't know if you can if you're on your phone. Unless you go to my website, www.ddstamps.com. Um, here is the host code for this week or this month. So go ahead and use that. And get that good packet, good packet of goodies. I'm gonna quick run through. So door door prize time is now. So the door prize drawing, there's a link in the YouTube description. There's a link on the Facebook. There's a button below where I'm talking um, that says door prize, and there is one on my website. And I don't know if you know if you if you're new, what happens is everybody signs up for the door prize. It pops into a spreadsheet. Um, on Google and I pick a number before we start and whosoever name lands on that number gets to pick a door prize and this week it is those two stamp sets the two host sets in the in the holiday catalog so the door prize looks like this is the form but it all populates into a into a different uh, spreadsheet yeah, Jewel thinks that this is the best catalog she's seen for a while. I think you're right, Jewel. Uh, it's it's a doozy. Oh, good. Karen from Wisconsin is on my website. I'm going to pull myself back into the show here. Oops. Got to pay attention to what I'm doing. It's not always the easiest to to pull everything together. But um, anyway, sorry about the glare there, but my lights are really funky tonight because my, my upper lights aren't working. Um, anyway, if you have questions, now's the time to answer. Or not. <laughs> now's the time to ask and hopefully I will answer. Um, sorry, it's a little frazzled, but was there a big point set of stamp in the catalog? There is a big point set of stamp in the big catalog, in the, in the annual catalog. So check that one out there. If you didn't get a holiday catalog yet, send me an email at diane at ddstamps.com. I will get one out in the mail with you to you as soon as I get them. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Because I'm going to call it a night because I have a whole list of stuff. We're actually having the groom's dinner. It's just going to be a big family picnic with about 50 people. Um, at my house. So I still have a few things to get ready for that. And then Saturday we have the wedding and lots and lots of family and friends coming in. And so it's, it should be really fun. And the weather is going to be knock on wood. Perfect. Yep. Diane loves everything. Diane, I love everything. And so does Diane love everything. She's watching on YouTube. Uh, what's the name of that new flowery designer series paper floral, floral flowers. Something like that. Here, I'll find it. Let's see. <laughs> holiday catalog. So if you go to the website and then you hit holiday catalog, all of the products that are in the holiday catalog will show up. And so if you want to know what paper it is, I just went under everything else. And if you scoot down, there's Country Lane, which is florally. And then there's the Frosted Floral, which I think is what you're talking about. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Absolutely beautiful. Um, if you don't know where to put your 
hostess code. Let's uh, let me get in here so I can. I'll buy three of these. No, no, no. I'll buy. I can just buy one. <laughs> Add it to my bag. I can either continue shopping or I can view my shopping bag. If I want to view my shopping bag, okay, this is where you're going to put your hostess code in this box and hit apply. And then it's attached to the code. And that's how I know who all who all ordered from that. And the, it makes it so that I can make these packets up for you. A couple of things to realize. If your order is over 150, do not use the code. I will still send you the products. Um, but you should get the stamp and rewards for yourself. So if your order is over 150, don't use the hostess code. Take the take the uh, stamp and rewards for yourself. Okay. If you got coupons in August, there's a, there's another good question. Good thing I remembered that. So if you got coupons in August and you're in your account and you're ordering, you want to hit manage coupon codes and then in in this box here you can copy and paste them right from the email. But you wanted if you have more than one code, put put the first code in and then go to the next line and put the next code in and go to the next side and go to the next line and get the next code. I have found it's easier to copy and paste than it is to try to remember what the numbers are because those code numbers have no rhyme or reason to them. So if you keep your email, you can pop them in there. If you do not have your email or you can't find it, you can contact Stampin' Up at 1-800-STAMP-UP and between seven and seven and they will certainly help you get your uh, get your code numbers. I don't have them. Sometimes they'll send them to me like later on in the year or later on in the month, they'll send me a list of people that didn't use their codes yet. And then I think I get them. But um, if you want to use them on your order for holiday catalog, that's how you get them. Hi, somebody just said hi, Dee Dee. Yeah, I'm excited about the wedding. It's going to be fun. Okay, so let me check one more time if there's any questions. Oh, the door prize. Okay, so Ray can't connect to the door prize. Let me see, because I can check and see if a lot of people... Oh, a lot of people did connect. Um... Ray, I'm going to tell you that by now the number that you would, the number's already been picked and the number's already been bypassed. So sorry that you didn't get in there. It's it's hard on YouTube. I don't think you can do the door price, the comments thing on YouTube on your phone or your iPad. I'm not sure, but sorry about that. But actually we, we passed it, the number anyway. So here we go. The winner of the door prize happens to be Number 56, I wrote down here on this little piece of post-it note, 56, and that happens to be Cindy Quinter. Cindy, you need to let me know which of the hostess sets you want, either the ones with the, the socks and shoes, boots, or the other one that's a, a like an all-holiday Christmas Halloween set. So let me know, Cindy, you can um, send me an email, diane at ddstamps.com, because I'm going to need your address too, because I know that I don't have it. And then you can, I'll send that out to you when you let me know what you want. Okay, checking more. Cool. I love it when people say congratulations to the winner. Although it's kind of sad because you didn't win, but... Too many good things in this catalog may have to get a job. I know how you feel, Carol. Oh, that's why I have my job. Hmm. You had trouble on my website. Weird. Okay, well, sorry about that, gang. I will be scoping my website out to see what happens if other people had issues. You couldn't do it on the website either. Hmm. Oh, Ray finally got through. Oh, Norley just said, I just want to, ch okay, so I did do a paper and ribbon swap this, um, this catalog. 
it's closing though. I mean, I'm closing it out like tonight. So Nora, uh, Nora Lee, I am going to have to check and see if I can find your information and find out what's going on. I got your email that says you were checking in with me concerning that offer. I'm looking forward to a reply. So I will, uh, I don't, if I didn't respond to you, I didn't get it. So send me another email. And let me know what, what it is you want to know. Okay, cool. Okay, everybody. Now it's officially time for me to get into wedding mode. And um, I will be back on in probably, uh, my daughter's coming home tomorrow and she's gonna be home for a couple weeks. So maybe by the second week of, I don't know, maybe the, maybe two weeks, not this week, not this coming week, but the next week I'll come on live, but sign up for my, my email list and you will get it, an email for me or watch me on Facebook. Anyway, if, if uh, you have any more questions, contact me, um, through email, Diane at ddstamps.com or Facebook message works too. Anyway, take care and have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.